Hello and welcome back to The Witcher on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode, we uh, got into the village here and started checking that out. We also went to the inn that's not showing up on the map. Let me turn my volume down on my headset just a little bit. There we go. Um, and today we were going to start cleaning up in the village, talking to a few people, and uh, doing stuff we missed last episode. I did look up, and uh, it seems we cannot play dice poker with... Uh, Julian or Tobias right now because uh or ever because we became a sharper in chapter three and we never unlocked them beforehand so they just don't give us the option at least that's my understanding of it now today we're gonna start off we need to find the baker which, uh, I have no idea where he is in here. He might be in one of these houses. Not in there. We've already looted all this, so we just gotta run through and find this guy. I say that, but there's like a whole barrel there that we didn't loot. It looks like we can't actually get to it. That's in a really weird spot. Oh well. I'm rambling. We need to find this baker. And we need to... Give him some white honey, and he is going to give us the sugar doll we need to give to a peasant woman. I know, it feels like we're doing a massive fetch quest now, but uh, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll get through it, don't worry. We just need to find the baker. Last episode, I thought it was the blacksmith that I had to get the sugar doll from, but no, it's the baker. I looked it up. He wouldn't be in the chief's house. I don't think he would be in Adam's house. Or the blacksmith's house. I have no idea where he is. Is he labeled as the baker? Or is he an old peasant? I'm very confused. Very confused. He should be in the village... Baker's house. Got it. Don't you love when you're trying to talk about something and you just zero in on the thing? Look at this. You have to go, like, all the way back through here. I completely missed this house last episode. Alright, we found the Baker's house. No big deal. We also need to get a fifth piece of bread from him. Teruviel from the elves wanted five pieces of bread. You can get four of them from the uh, wardrobe there, and you can Wait. buy the fifth one from this guy. Follow the aroma of my fresh bread. Sure. You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. I need something. How may I help? All right, let's buy one more piece of bread. All right, we got the five pieces for Teruvia. Let's sell some of this stuff that we really don't need. Free up some space. Dried fruit and nuts can go. Let's keep... No, we'll sell all that. Sell all the gutted fish. We're going to keep one piece of wyvern meat. Which is further down, so... Sell all this. We don't need this wyvern egg anymore. Like I said, keep one piece of wyvern meat. Sell the buns. Keep the bread there. That frees up some space. How may I help? Have any other secret ingredients? Sadly. Though I know one recipe I haven't been able to try. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey. Though I know not what that is. Alright, let's give him some white honey. That, uh... I hold on. To get angry. We gotta pull the white honey off of our equipment there. How let's try that again. Let's give him some white honey. White honey? Incredible! I could now try my secret recipe. Can I... Take the doll and go before I change my mind. Alright, we got a sugar doll now, and we got the bread we need. Our next task might be a little difficult, 
We need to find a specific peasant woman. And there are quite a few peasant women's women in the village. A witcher, right? Yes. Perhaps you can help. My cousin from Vizima lies dying from a venomous monster attack. The medics have no cure. Perhaps you know an antidote? What was the beast? A garcane. It resembled a man, but with wings like a bat. Any more information? The beast was terrifying. Its head deformed. Its jaws horrific. Sounds like a garcane. But garcanes have no venom. But my cousin truly suffers from poison. Perhaps cadaverin. Yes, I remember. Garcanes often feed on carrion. Oh my. After devouring an infected corpse, the garcane may have become a carrier. The medic should look into that. I'll let them know. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Thank you. Farewell. I mean, I would hope she would give me something for that. Maybe that's just me giving in to Geralt's greediness, but you know. But yeah, we gotta find a specific peasant woman. As you can see, there are a lot of them around. So, it's gonna take a little bit of searching. Wedding guest, peasant woman. It's not the old peasant woman, is it? Monster tales interest witches, yes? True. I'll share what I know of vampires. But first, have you something to eat? Um, nothing that I'm willing to give up, so no. See ya. Is the peasant woman inside somewhere? There are peasant women inside the buildings, so I guess we're checking all the buildings now. My grandma says nothing matches the beauty and danger of Oh boy. I've also read that this peasant woman can be difficult to find. We need to find Selena at one point as well. Give her something. There should be more of them that are starting conversations with us as well. Not in here. Alvin's walking around. I don't think there were any in the chief's house. None back here. See. You'll only bring trouble. You exactly what you're thinking. Losing at me that way. Nothing back there. That's uh Alina's house here, isn't it? Yeah. Um Oh, for a son is exactly what you're thinking. Losing at me that way. I also read that it might be the peasant woman might be at the inn. As well so let's go to the inn we need to talk to Julian anyway ah, women. I agree buddy women don't even have a name they just call themselves peasant women and expect you to find them oh man aren't they the worst all right head into the gate here oh thank you buddy opened it up for me uh-oh is that Abigail Oh no, that's Selena and Julian. What's going on here? Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette. Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant. 
while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian. Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg. Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her. She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Jeez. I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. I mean, she's saying that, but I also read that it can just be a basic silver ring. That's the ring? So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. Alright. Oh boy. Oh, well, there it is. The first sensor of the episode. The first of possibly many. Alright, so we got that taken care of. We still need to find this peasant woman, and we need to go inside and talk to... Talk to Julian. She's just, uh, dining and dashing, isn't she? Man. Alright. Yeah, I read that the peasant woman can sometimes be inside the inn as well, surrounding Dandelion. Speak of the devil. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh yeah, I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Hand it over. That's important. Alright, let's read this letter, why don't we? Managed to escape in time, and you should not return to the city for a while. I hope we will not remain apart for long. Our problems, however, do not end there. Alvin used magic to disappear. Able to locate him, sent you there, take care of him. I know you don't need convincing. You've come to like him as much as I have. Boy, has been through a lot, and his wild magical talents have awakened. When he was with me, he did not have patience enough to undergo basic magic training. Claiming he would rather be an explorer of lost ruins, a discovery of mag magical artifacts. Dimeridium amulet that blocks magic. Dandelion hasn't lost it. Wear it at all times. Take care of him. Hope all will be well. More difficult than your mission, eh? Can it? I don't know. Alright. Um, we're looking for peasant women. There's Julian. There's a gambler. There are no peasant women in here. Let's uh, leave and re-enter. You know, just in case. Yeah, I'm still not seeing him. Alright, let's talk to Julian then. Geralt? I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? And that's all of that. Can I sell some stuff to you? That's not how I do that. Come on. Um, I don't know which of these books I need to store and which of these needs to sell. Let's go to the innkeeper real quick. One thing. Yes. Alright, any of these popping up as two, that one is. Alright, those are. 
All right, so we'll take each of those back and sell those because they are extra. All right, Julian, I'm back. Take these books. We're almost at 10,000 orns there. That's pretty good. I still, uh, I don't see where this peasant woman is. Why don't we take a break from looking for her, though? Let's explore the rest of this uh, village area. All these fields and such. I know we need to find a dead body somewhere in this field. Just give me a second while I try and pull up my map of the field area here. Or not. Alright. Let's uh, see here. There should be some giant centipedes around here as well that we'll need to kill for a contract. Other than that, I'm not sure what all there is. You want to try and at least check every crevice, though. Alright, that's where the village meets up at. We'll just follow this path path for now. I want to come down here and take out some drowners. They might only show up at night, though. Right over here, I believe. A little further down. Road to bridge. They are not showing up. I guess that's an only nighttime thing. Okay. We'll be back there, don't worry. I just. What? Wh what? Oh. Oh. There we go. I don't know. These are the giant centipedes. There we go. I'm not doing a lot of damage to these things. I don't remember these things being this hard to kill. Is this thing even half dead yet? I can't tell because of the grass. Okay, there we go. Maybe? Okay. We got some stuff here. I don't know how many of those we need to kill. But they're a little more dangerous than I remember. So we want to be careful. Two of those might be pretty bad for us. We got the bridge over here. I believe this is going to activate another quest for us. So we want to talk to one of these guys at least. Greetings, sir. Never mind, the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Alright, so he doesn't have a lot to say. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. There's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghost begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Mm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. 
My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the king of the wild hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. All right, so it looks like we need to go talk to Abigail for that quest. We'll continue on exploring around here real quick. I don't see why we need the bridge here. I mean, surely we can't climb this, but look at that. We can easily just... I mean, Geralt can definitely climb that. He's got the athletic ability, but it, whatever. It is what it is. Let's continue around, hopefully find a few more centipedes. Well, uh, ask and you shall receive. Oh man, we got two of them. I'm just barely doing any damage to these guys. And I mean, the group style is taking them both out at the same time, but it's gonna take forever at this rate. Like, this is painfully slow. What happened there? Why did... Okay, I'm just gonna go strong style then. Oh, come on, dude. And they just disappear and throw you off. I don't like this. Stop switching between them. This is terrible, dude. And he's gone. I want to kill this one. There we go. God, that was that was terrible. Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I just killed two of your friends. There better not be a fourth one. Or I might be a little mad. Do I need three or five of these things? I guess I need five. No? Okay, cool. Elven Craftsman. Giant centipede contract is done. I might just avoid these things now. Because I don't want to deal with them. Is there anything up here? No? I know there's something over here for us. This is a friendly ghost, a gambling ghost. That's a great view there. I definitely see what you're looking at. Geralt of Rivia himself. You're in the ghost world. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power like Triss. Just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution, then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. You don't stand a chance. Confident. Splendid. Alright, looks like we're playing dice poker with the gambling ghost here. For Alvin. Let's see, we got two pairs, six and twos. 
He's got a pair of threes. So, uh, let's go for a full house, I'm thinking. And there we go. I don't know. I was just feeling the full house there. I felt it and I went for it. All right. It's a good thing we got it too, because he got three of a kind. He would have beat us. Sometimes you just got to go with the flow, man. If you're feeling it, go for it. Like, uh, this here, we got absolute garbage. We got nothing. I wasn't feeling it there. He has a pair of fives. We've got nothing. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep the six here because it's the highest dice. And we're going to re-roll everything but the six. We got three of a kind on fives. That six didn't even matter. There we go. We got Alvin back. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Your necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe. I feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? But just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. One. Look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action, no matter the price? Good. Open your mind. Oh, well, uh, that's fun. I hope he, uh, puts on the necklace there. Alright, let's see. We need to find Julian and warn him. I guess that's the next stage of the quest here. Skeleton. Um. Oh. Okay. What's keeping you here? I speak of dice, of course. Is a game worth coming back for? It's a passion, not a game. I know. Made lost fortunes by Mocha. My life too, in a stroke of bad luck. Okay, then I guess the skeleton summons him back. That's a pretty hardcore dedication to the game, you know? Being killed by the game and then still coming back just to keep playing the game. We're actually gonna head back here because I'm pretty sure I missed the body back here. Avoiding those giant centipedes because they're just fucking terrible to fight, dude. Here's the body right here. I want to come here and get the earth rune. Cool, cool. How much more do we have here? Looks like we're just about done exploring here as well. Alright, so we'll finish exploring this map. We'll medicate the meditate till nighttime, get that last spot with the drowners. See what's going on with the Griggs. We gotta talk to Abigail first though. Because, uh, something, right? Got some wolves here. I hate not being able to pull out my sword in advance. Come on, guys. Group up. You think you can live just because the other three are dead in one attack? 
That's not how it works, buddy. Let's transfer all of this. Please, thank you. All right. And continue on back. This is the gate that leads back to the lakeside, I believe. No. That goes to the fields? Doesn't this go to the fields? I'm so confused. I thought this one led to the fields. That goes to lakeside. I have no idea where that leads, honestly. Oh well, we'll probably figure it out at some point. Alright, so this whole area is explored now. Abigail should be in her uh, healer's hut over here. I'm looking at my list here. We still need to find that peasant woman. There's Julian, who we can warn. Let's go ahead and warn him while we're here. I'm glad to see you. What happened? Alina went for a walk in the fields and hasn't returned. I'm losing my mind. Get out, please help me. Fine. I'll go look for her. Thank you. So Alina is in the fields and we gotta go look for her. So that's gonna be our next stop after we're done with all this village stuff. For now though, chicken. Where's Abigail? There she is. What do you want? Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt devourers. I await your catch. That's her uh, contract that we haven't even found a devourer for yet. Harn the mason sent me. That good for nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe sold the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In the chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint. Like the ones they place at crossroads. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. So, Griggs are gnomes, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why they call them Griggs. But, uh, I guess a gnome has fallen in love with Abigail for whatever reason. I don't know. It's, uh, definitely strange. We're gonna head back to the village and take one more look around for this peasant woman. Then we're going to head back to Lakeside, turn in this bread quest, feed an elf woman, and uh, do some other things. I, I, I wasn't watching where I'm going, if I'm being honest. What's going on? Alvin, why are you here? I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster and I wasn't afeard at all! Only fools feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar is afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. Um, ba 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 ba. We never get sick, but that cost us. And then there's pain. Would you like to hurt badly? No. Can't I become a witcher without that? No. I'm not sure then. Hey, Geralt. These fields are great to play in. Do you have the necklace? I wear it constantly. Do you still have nightmares? Not when I nap during the day, but at night. I have strange dreams. You needn't tell me. I dream about Alina. 
I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe. I feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Alright, so let's uh, actually go back here. I didn't mean to walk into Lakeside. Like I said, I just wasn't paying attention. I'm probably going to speed it up here because apparently this peasant woman is a little hard to find. And it's going to take some refreshing and she might not even be here. She might be at the inn. Anyways, it's actually pretty late in the day so I'm going to meditate first. And then... And then I'll probably speed it up. Yes. Bye. Can I? Where can I meditate here? If uh, he's not in his house, there's no campfire. Like Alina's not in her house. I can't meditate there. Adam, you need to go home, buddy. So you can let me meditate. You think I can meditate at the chief's house, maybe? Since he's going home? Which one is his house? That's Selena's house. Selena's house is the chief's house, it looks like. Can I meditate at Selena's house? With yeah. Selena? I can. Okay, there we go. So meditate till noon, and I will be back when I've found this peasant woman. I'll speak plainly. I like what I see and want to get to know you. I think we got it, boys. Oh, nice. I'm no easy lass, though. You understand a gentleman must court a lady, am I right? You are. Now that we know each other better, you should take the initiative and bring me something sweet. A sugar doll sweet as me. Just what I wanted. Let's take our relationship further. Come home with me. Let me thank you. Let's go. There we go, boys. You don't see what I see, but we got it. Alright. So now that that's taken care of, we're actually gonna meditate till nighttime back at the village and then we'll head over and take out that last uh, gathering of uh, drowners I think that's the last one there might actually be another one in the fields I don't know but in case that's the last one we'll go ahead and take it out 
and then we'll head back to the lake side. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode, but I don't mind. I feel like playing a little bit longer right now. So let's see, into here, where's the best place to meditate right now? Is Adam at home? Can I meditate here? He is. Yes. Alright, meditate till midnight. And let's head to the river. Um, I'm lost. It's this way. There we go. Right? Did I pass it? No, it's through here. Alright. No, that's... Where am I going? I said to the river, not the lakeside. Come on. What am I doing? I am absolutely lost. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Alright. We gotta go out of the village this way. Follow the river down there. It's night time, so we can pull out our sword and walk around a bit faster. And go ahead and have the group style out. Because if we look on ahead somewhere... That's what we need right there, not these guys. But, I mean, we do actually still need them, so... I mean, might as well, right? These things are fucking ugly. Uh, didn't I just kill that one that got up off the ground? Uh, I guess not. It had a little bit of health left. Alright, there we go. That's three of those down. I don't know how many teeth we need for the, uh, for the contract. I want to say it's ten. There's going to be a lot more of them in the field, so, though, so it's not like we need to get them all now. These guys are what we're interested in now. Easy. Uh, Drowners on the island will be the next. I thought we already got the ones on the island. We might have to take a quick trip to the island too. That's a journal. Old habits die hard. Drowners on the island will be next. On Lakeside, Black Turn Island, and near the village. We got Lakeside. Okay. Yeah, it says we still must kill the ones on Black Turn Island. Okay. Alright. So. Trying to think. Let's go to the elves first. Before we go to the island. Because we have a few different things we can do with the elves now. So it's going to be a quick cut through the village. Man, you know what I miss? The teleports. I didn't use the teleports like at all during chapter 2. We didn't have them during chapter 1. I used them in chapter 3. I got to really like them. And now they're gone again in chapter 4. Where am I going? This way. I got to use them for a whole chapter before they took them away from me. And I hate it. Also, I'm not using my uh, group style to run around, so it's a little bit slower. I'm just busy ranting, taking a slow time. What now? Alvin, I swear to God, if this is you, fuck's sake. Hi, Geralt. How did you get here? I'm not telling. I'll walk with you. If anything happens, run. I don't know why I'm being followed by this kid now, but, uh... I'm not fighting monsters on my way to the elves, so uh, if a bunch of wyverns show up, he better run, because I'm not protecting him. Like those things, I'm not fighting those. Just uh, kind of skirt around him. 
Cut this way past the Fisher King. Get to these elves. I think we need to go to the island anyway and talk to the Lady of the Lake. Turn in that uh, alabaster figure, maybe. And then uh, that should also trigger the Voidiani priest to show back up. Where, where's the cave? Is it further this way? It's further this way. Alright. So we need to talk to the craftsman, to Teruviel, and then to the elvish woman there, the elf woman. Here's the craftsman. Kedmil Vakko. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. I'm here about the notice. Do you have the giant centipede armor? Here. Finally, I'll be able to progress with my work. Take this pouch for your toil. Alright, so that's the giant centipede contract. Yes? I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. So, uh, yeah, she gave you 20 orns to buy bread. It actually only buys four loaves. She wanted five. So you can tell her that and only give her four loaves. But we got four loaves for free, and I think you get more XP for giving her the five, so let's just give her the five. Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are. So that finishes that quest. Now I think we can talk to her. Be gone, Duan. I've brought food. What's that? Let's give her this piece of wyvern meat. I spit on your charity. Be reasonable. You need food. I want to help. Help? No. You want to demonstrate superiority by throwing food at me as if I were wild. Cease your patronizing human. I'm not patronizing you. When I went hungry, I received help from unexpected sources. I don't need your pity. You elves will never change. You ignore the obvious. A beggar, even when arrogant, remains unimpressive, even ridiculous. So, you've come to laugh, to marvel at freaks. Now I'm angry. You speak of anger. You. I would beat you so hard you'll remember me. You. Calm down. It'll be all right. And there is that card there. Now, I know I said I was going to go ahead and go to the island and uh, get that last group of drowners. But I'm looking at it here. I think it'll be better if I hold off on that. So we are going to hold off on that. We'll go ahead and end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to jump into the fields, the final area for uh, this chapter. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you then. Bye-bye.